Okay. For the last story of the day, this is the one everybody's looking forward to, right? Um, it's one of those, you know, we've got a, a ton of movies coming out. And um, this weekend is no exception. This week is absolutely no exception. We have another fantastic movie coming out. And it was actually at South by Southwest. And that's John Wick 4. This is one of those films that I've not seen any of the John Wick movies. I just never got around to it. But everybody is saying, David, you need to watch John Wick. So this is going to... And this actually premiered at South by Southwest and to rave reviews. And um, so I'm really curious to see how this does. So according to Variety, it's targeting a huge $70 million weekend. John Wick Chapter 4 is aiming to set a new franchise record in its box office debut. The fourth installment in Lion Gate's action thriller series, led by Keanu Reeves as a legendary assassin, looks to collect a mighty 65 to $70 million from 3,800 North American theaters over the weekend. The movie also debuts this weekend in 71 territories at the International Box Office. By Sunday, ticket sales should climb to at least 100 to $115 million worldwide. It's impressive that each film in the John Wick franchise has managed to dramatically improve upon its predecessor at the box office, beginning with the 2014's John Wick, which made $14 million at the opening weekend, 2017's John Wick Chapter 2 made $30 million, $30.5 million at the opening weekend, the 2019 John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum made $56.8 million opening weekend. So Chapter 4 is earning some of the Best reviews of all of already well received pack and should continue the trend. It costs more than a hundred million dollars to produce, giving it its highest price tag in the series. Parabellum is currently the highest grossing installment in its franchise with 328.3 million dollars globally. The first movie tapped out at 86.1 million but became a sleeper hit on home entertainment when the sequel ended its run with 174.3 million as long as momentum stays as long as momentum stays chapter four hopes to be the biggest earner of the four by the time it leaves theaters regardless of its box office performance a spin-off called ballerina end quote starring anna de armas is already in the works except for Sh- shazam fury of the gods it's been a standout march at the box office, with new entries of Screen and Creed also establishing opening weekend benchmarks in its respective series. John Wick 4 is the only new nationwide release, so it won't have a problem overtaking Shazam 2 at the number one as the number one movie on domestic charts. Um, Chad Stetheran directed the latest John Wick, which follows the hitman as he continues his fight against a powerful crime organization known as the high table on his journey. He seeks out the most powerful players in the underworld from New York to Paris to Japan to Berlin. Along with Reeves, the cast includes Donnie Yen, Bill Skarsgård, Lawrence Fishburne, and of course the late uh, Lance Reddick, which we just lost him last week. who died at the age of un- at 60 and Friday's chief film critic, Praise the fourth one, which clocked in an overstuffed two hours and 49 minutes, knowing it's knowingly overstuffed gift to fans. So, and then there were a couple of uh, reviews behind it. Okay, let's talk about it. As I said, I've not seen any of the John Wick movies. I know, crazy, huh? And the other thing is, this franchise 10 years old? Like, what? Man, that's crazy. Uh, <laughs> forget about that. Nonetheless, um, this looks like it's going to be huge, and it's going to absolutely crush Shazam. Um, it only made thirty million dollars last weekend. Um, that's a whole other story in itself. We'll have to do sometime, but we'll, we'll do it on the roundup. But it's just amazing to me that this is a movie that continues to get bigger and better. Um, now, I I got to be honest. 
two hours and 48 minutes to me in, seems a little long. But if the action's good, I'm in for it, okay? Um, and, you know, and the other thing, too, is in the, in the last few, I'd say three, four years, we've had a lot of movies that are almost tapping out at three hours. I mean, you've got Endgame, you've got Babylon, you've got, you know, Avatar The Way of Water. This is at 248, Infinity War a couple of years ago. So people like longer movies if they're good for the franchise. If they're not, then I don't think they will be. I'm really curious to see where this, how much this makes opening weekend and how, how much it can sustain. sustain. Um, I think that this is going to be fun. I, I don't know. I mean, I think it's one of those movies I probably would have to watch all three just to get caught up. I don't know. We'll see. Um, yeah, I, I'm. Regardless, though, March has been a huge month. You've had Creed three come out at the beginning of the month, then you had Scream, you know, a couple weeks ago. Shazam didn't do so hot, and there's some backstory behind that, but. This is looking to be big, and I can't wait to see what transpires and how much can this sustain. You know, we've got, you know, after that, we're gonna in a couple weeks, we're going to have Air, and we're going to have Super Mario Brothers, and yeah, we, we've got a ton of stuff. So it will be interesting to see what happens and how much... It, you know, John, it's interesting because Keanu Reeves is like that one star that just keeps going. I mean, if you take a look at this, it's interesting, right? Because when Taken really was that hit back in the day, Liam Neeson was that character that really, um, he was that action hero everybody was talking about, right? It was taken. It was taken two. It was taken three. It was the commuter. It was the gray. It was run all night. It was all these films. And then, you know, he had that, he stumbled. He said something he really wasn't supposed to. And it killed his career. And now he's doing B and C movies. This has been, you know, Keanu Reeves is now that new action hero. I mean, we, we still, look, we still have Tom Cruise. That I'm not disputing that. Okay. Mission Seven's coming out in July. And it's going to be huge. But this is the next big thing, right? Um, and now that it's going all over the world, I think that's something else to be, you know, to consider. He's going all over the world. Japan, Berlin, you know, Paris, all these places. It's really interesting to see. So I, I really, I'm going to have to sit down at some point and watch the John Wick movies because everybody is telling me, they're fantastic. And I just, I, I need to do it. That's one of the things I need to do. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to John Wick 4? Have you seen all the other John Wicks? If so, what did you think of them? Um, are you going to go back and see all of these other John? Are you going to watch all the other John Wicks before you go see John Wick 4? Leave me your thoughts down in the comments and I'll get back to everybody.